Hi, welcome to Language Arts World. This week we're writing flash fiction. The great thing about flash fiction, like Mrs. Cole said, is our finished product is going to be pretty short. Flash fiction is only 500 to 1500 words long. Today I want to teach you a strategy that writers use in order to get their stories started. The strategy we're going to use is we're going to start with a line that's already been written. When you're done with this video, then you can click onto the next slide and you'll see that there's some ideas there of lines that you could use. Or really, you could find a line in a book or any other place that you'd like to. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. First, we're going to start with a line. Then we're going to think, well, who would it make sense would say this line? Where would they be? And what would the rest of the story be? Once we know that, then we're going to quick sketch it. Since we're writing flash fiction, we want our sketch to be only around five frames long. That will ensure that we are telling a flash fiction story and not a full-on fiction. Okay, so let me show you mine. The line that I decided I want to use is, he looked through a telescope and thought he might see, st might see Saturn. I've been on kind of a space kick lately. Okay. So if I think about who my character would be, I think I just want to work with a teenager in Jenison, somebody that I would kind of already know as a character. Um, it just kind of makes sense for my brain. And the setting, I'm just going to have him at his house looking at a telescope during modern time. Now I think I'm ready to start sketching. Hmm, where to begin? I could start with him going to the closet to get out his telescope, mm, but I don't think so. I don't think that would be flash fiction. I could start with him walking outside with this telescope. Mm, I don't think so. I think that would still be too long. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with him putting his eye to the telescope for the first time. So here's my guy, here's his telescope, and we'll just pretend that his eye is touching it. Okay, so now he's going to look through his telescope and he's going to see something in the distance. He's not quite sure what it is. Then I'm going to have him looking through his telescope and let's say that object gets closer and he's starting to get a little nervous. Then he looks through the telescope again and it's even closer and he starts freaking out. He's really not sure what it is. Then let's see, he looks through the telescope again and it's really close and he feels like an electric charge, like he feels electricity all around him. And then the screen goes black. Everything goes black around him. So I think that's what I'll use for my story. It feels like it starts close enough to the end. I feel like it's got enough action in it that I can tell a good story and it will be fun to read. So again, here are our steps. One, start with a line. Two, Think about the rest of the story. Three, quick sketch. At least five frames, but really you don't want many more than that. So that's your work today. My challenge to you is to now go ahead and get started on it. Like I said, you can go to the next slide in this slideshow and you will see that there's some different ideas that you can use for a line to begin your story with. Then go ahead and go through the rest of the steps so that you have your quick sketch storyboard ready to go for tomorrow when you get to draft. Look forward to seeing your stories. Have a good one. Bye.